Hi there, Leslie Riopel here, talking about the concept of creative confidence and divine love. Did you know that the concept of divine love is the highest frequency in the law of attraction? The truth is that you have access to an infinite supply of love. Loving yourself creates a firm foundation for your life. It really is the answer to all of your greatest challenges. When you create a relationship within yourself that is loving, kind, compassionate, and even forgiving, anything is possible. The concept of divine love is life transforming. It is like opening up and feeling more love than you could ever imagine. All of this is possible within your own mind. Whatever you lack in life, divine love can heal, whether it's health, prosperity, or love. All of this can be instantly resolved using the power of your own creativity and the idea of divine love. The truth is that all of us are beautiful souls. We have a right to be happy, to feel prosperous, to be loved, and to love in return. All of this starts within. This meditation explores the idea of creative confidence as it pertains to love, specifically divine love, the highest form of love. Everything in life requires creativity, whether you realize it or not. The need to be creative is always upon us, whether we are solving a mundane problem or looking for love. This idea of creative confidence is so important to your idea of peace and understanding in the world. So if you're ready to take this journey that could quite possibly change your life, I invite you to join me on this guided meditation for creative confidence and divine love. I will show you the way to transform your life using the power of divine love. I know it transformed mine. As you journey into this world of creative confidence, take a moment before we begin to reflect on what love means for you. The idea of self-love means loving yourself unconditionally, no matter what. It means loving yourself even in spite of yourself. Your life is a direct reflection of how you see yourself and how much you love yourself. Everyone is our mirror. And sometimes those things or qualities we don't like in ourselves are reflected in other people. So if you'll join me on this journey, I invite you into the world of creative confidence and divine love. Enjoy. Now choose a spot that is private and relaxing. Make sure you won't be disturbed. Give yourself at least 10 to 15 minutes to focus when doing this. Begin by observing your breathing, watching your breath as it travels in and out of your body. When thoughts come to you, simply acknowledge them, then let them go. Do not judge or get caught up in them. This practice is all about observing the thoughts for exactly what they are, thoughts. Thoughts do not define you or control you. They simply are. By observing in a detached way, you can disassociate from your thoughts 
and learn how to relax. Start to focus on your breath, breathing slowly. Feel the breath flowing out through your chest and swirling out all around you, filling your energetic space with life energy. Take another deep breath and feel the relaxing energy. Continue to relax and breathe, exhaling slowly. Feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into this feeling of relaxation. As you take in another deep breath, then slowly exhale. Feel yourself sinking into a feeling of peace. Begin to call light to yourself and imagine with each inhale of your breath, you are drawing in a beautiful white light and as you slowly exhale, that light is spreading and vibrating throughout your whole body. Allow yourself to bathe in this very healing light. Feel the peace and the love. See yourself like a beautiful flower. What kind of flower are you? This idea of self-love allows you to open up and tap into this infinite well of love. Divine love is the highest kind of love. It is a wonderful healing force. Divine love forgives all and finds peace even in the darkness. Now ask yourself how worthy you feel of love. Feeling worthy of good things in life is important for your happiness and success. When you feel worthy, you feel like you deserve good things. Feeling worthy means to feel confident and deserving. It is about knowing and realizing that you deserve to be happy. The more you radiate love, the easier it is for people to interact positively with you. The more love you generate and radiate, the happier, healthier, and even more peaceful and prosperous you will be. Divine love will heal any kind of relationship. It can make you divinely irresistible. If you desire a loving companion, divine love is the key to attracting the right person for you. Whatever you want, divine love will attract to you. In order to manifest love, and be involved in a loving and healthy relationship, you first have to love yourself. You have to shift your energy to one of love. Self-love is the start of all healthy relationships. Now take yourself in your mind to the most beautiful place you can imagine. This place can be anywhere. 
You might be sitting by a beautiful lake in a tropical forest or even sitting on top of a mountain. Whatever you like. Spend a few moments enjoying the environment all around you. Breathe in your surroundings and notice where you are. You may choose the same place every time you do this, or you may choose somewhere completely different. Reflect for a moment on how you feel about the concept of love. What does love or divine love mean for you? A feeling of deep intimacy and connection? A feeling of love and acceptance? Feelings of happiness and personal fulfillment? Maybe even deep levels of respect and honesty? Maybe even emotional freedom? Now repeat gently in your mind, I am a beautiful person. Divine love now fills my heart. My soul is filled with divine love. I radiate love. I am surrounded by love. I am worthy of love. I am love. I love myself unconditionally. I am worthy to receive love because I offer love freely. Spend a few more moments reflecting on the ideal relationship in your mind. What would it feel like? Imagine yourself walking hand in hand with someone, enjoying love. As you go about your day, start paying attention to those little synchronicities or things that start occurring now that you have shifted your focus to love. Most of all, take action when things start to happen. Make a point to take small steps towards your goals every day. Now, as you return to conscious awareness, know that you are one step closer to all the love your heart can hold.